getting away with murder. And that's how one San Luis Valley family describes a plea deal offered to a man accused of fatally stabbing their loved one. The deal offered by former District Attorney Alonzo Payne is one the Attorney General's office is taking issue with tonight. Investigative reporter Sean Rice is live at our newsroom with more on where the case currently stands. Sean. Yeah, Bar Brian Taylor's family says the plea deal offered to the man accused of stabbing him multiple times is an insult. Dustin Ferguson, who was initially charged with first degree murder, may now only face up to 16 years in prison. We think something happened to, to Brian. On a cold February morning earlier this year, Brian Taylor wrecked his car and walked to this home. Arrest documents obtained by 13 investigates say Taylor was stabbed inside this Villa Grove home multiple times in the back, neck, and head. The Swatch County Sheriff's Office says they located this man, Dustin Ferguson, near the home with blood on his hands with multiple inch-long cut marks on them. Nearly two months after his arrest, Ferguson signed this deal that would throw out his murder charges if he pleaded guilty to attempted assault. So I can't even fathom how they would get attempted assault out of someone being stabbed multiple times in the back, in the back of the head, the back of the neck, no defense wounds with an eyewitness. The deal offered by now resigned District Attorney Alonzo Payne. Payne stepped down one day after the Attorney General announced the San Luis Valley DA violated crime victims' rights by offering deals like this one. They are totally railroading us and just want us to be quiet and let it fly by like however many other peoples and families they've they re-victimized because that's what they're doing. They are re-victimizing the victims. Bye. -bye. Bye. Nine-year-old Gabriel, who loved ones say adored his uncle Brian, has struggled since the murder. And the family pleaded to a judge on Tuesday to place the deal off the table. He is getting away with murder. The Colorado Attorney General's office said while it did not agree with the deal, it is required to move forward with it. Ferguson now has seven days to accept or reject the offer. The decision on whether the court will not will accept that plea deal is now in the hands of Sawatch County District Judge Amanda Hopkins. She is, she's expected to rule on that plea deal next week. Reporting from our newsroom, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates. Okay. All right, Sean, thank you.